Hello traders welcome to session 108 how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge for the young guns 1,000 a day may not be enough for you therefore increase the number of contracts that you trade however we never forget our money management rules now what I teach you in these sessions you can apply to trading futures Forex and stocks in today's session I'm going to be playing back a video of three live trades I took on the RTY on the Russell and I'll be explaining step by step exactly why I took those trades and I think it goes for probably eight minutes but before we get there there's a lot of other goodies I want to get to one of the challenges unfortunately with YouTube today and that's where you're probably watching this video is traders want to get to the point quick smart quick smart but you've got to lay the foundation it's the syntax or the order of things that really makes the difference I've been a day trader for 28 years so therefore I've also got to say you may not get the results that I achieve but what I'm going to be showing you is my setups are very mechanical in their nature now they're not 100% mechanical because as you're going to see today we're going to be looking at uh, support resistance levels now a lot of uh, videos and training sessions you see out there are very subjective when it comes to support resistance levels but what I'm going to be showing you mine are very mechanical and very rules based and they plot automatically on the chart so let's move on so I do need to let me click on that so I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose the great thing about trading platforms today just about everyone you can stay on the simulator before you go live and even then I recommend you start on the micros which I'll be showing you uh, and talking to you about very briefly uh, uh, today as well a very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded uh, my ebook please click on the description link below the uh, uh, the truth about day trading uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so you'll be kept up to date with all of my most recent videos so this is as you can see there session 108 so I release new videos uh, every week even better still become a member if you like what I show you today remember I'm going to be really diving in deep so stick around uh, for $197 traders you can join uh, there's over 200 videos of it uh, 200 videos there's probably about it's probably is over 200 videos Gee, it must be 400 now but there's over 38 powerpoints there's free indicators all included in the 197 with no upsell you don't have to buy anything else now I also have a bonus going where included in the 197 is one month of my private group coaching sessions that is every Tuesday and Wednesday between 6 and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I run two-hour coaching sessions where you can attend you can type in questions there are dozens of a uh, usually there's uh, 80 to 120 130 traders there all around the world asking questions as I explain my setups step by step now I'm just looking up ahead right now and so in those sessions we'll also uh, I'll bring down the charts and we'll talk about uh, live setups as they set up that is I'll be talking to them exactly what I'm looking for in fact this is the Russell three tick which we're going to be looking at today um, don't worry about the MACD BB that's what that is down the bottom uh, we use some um, basically very basic uh, indicators available on any trading platform what I don't have on there is my super scalper let me just put that on there um, just so you can see my super scalper there okay you'll see the white paint bar in a moment now the day I'm recording this it's actually the um, what is it there the 6th of August so we're seeing a great deal of volatility in the markets over the last week which may continue look traders the good news is um, uh, inflation's going down uh, interest rates will, will be cut very soon earnings uh, reports on most companies are still very healthy you know it's a correction it is a correction however one thing that we do need to take in account is this 
as we can see on the screen here the markets are moving very quickly and that is where we then need to change the time frames that we're trading now I'm recording this this is at um, 34 minutes after midnight Central Standard Time and so this is what we call the Globex market the Globex market opens at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time and in around two hours time I then start to get the European market fires up which is my favorite time in fact from uh, in about 30 minutes time is my favorite time for trading and uh, it's because it's not too slow it's not too fast normally but um, let's remember at the moment we'll come back to the charts but we are uh, experiencing very fast markets so what we do then I may as well show you this uh, here we go so that's where then you'll increase the time frame that you're going to be trading like today we're looking at the RTY 3 tick which is not on here but what is relevant then is your account size you see one of the greatest mistakes that traders make is trading why undercapitalized and there's no excuse for it today because you can now start trading the micros for as little as $300 build your account and I'll show you how to do that in a moment quickly and efficiently and then roll over and start trading the big contract you see unfortunately most traders won't trade treat trading as a business and that's exactly what it is and it's like going into a business totally undercapitalized you're going to go broke and that's what happens with traders time after time after time and so it's about learning to trade within your money management rules which is a maximum risk of two percent of trade now we also have to remember that during high times of volatility just watching the markets here right now that the intraday margins will quite often lift uh, and same with the overnight margins okay so these are key considerations which I'm getting beyond uh, this session but what I did want to point out here is to trade the three tick um, and actually it's in the PowerPoint I'm about to show you uh, you need a three thousand dollar account to stay within your two percent rule now if you don't have three thousand that's fine you start on a micro build it correctly you see the emotional uh, uh, damage that's done the traders when they blow their account a couple of times is enormous you see time's gonna pass anyway why not learn how to day trade and live the life of your dreams the right way the first time and that's what I'm going to show you how to do okay uh, and as I was just saying just in closing <laughs> I got sidetracked see the market and we just had a beautiful setup uh, this is called a t3 let me just quickly show you. this is really relevant because you're going to see this on the charts I'm about to show you in a moment there, there was a perfect trade there 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 uh, and here this is called a t3 which is a mean reversion trade okay these are mechanical and I want you to remember this look what we're bouncing off up here we're bouncing off the current day's high yesterday's close and the current day's open support resistance areas but what I want you to notice here is is see how they're plotted or they, they plot automatically so therefore you know in advance just like here the EMAs that I use you'll see here we just bounce off them day in day out now you'll also notice I'm using Renko charts here uh, you can use time-based charts tick volume uh, whatever rocks your boat I love Renko uh, it smooths out price action but I do cheat that is I'll still refer to uh, tick charts which I still love you see Renko can be great um, but sometimes see this just where I am right here sometimes you'll have a, a still green candles and you don't have a re-entry an obvious re-entry but you look at your tick charts and you've got a little um, kickback on your tick charts and you get a little um, pullback and trend continuation setup however for a brand new trader uh, they're just absolutely ideal so finally for, for included in the 197 is one month in my coaching room that's eight to our sessions if you can't attend the sessions they are recorded and if you decide to continue after that it's and just drop me an email it's 97 dollars a month thereafter 
now it's a, it would be a game changer for most people if you could earn an extra one thousand dollars a day five thousand a week maybe your targets only two or three hundred a day four hundred a day whatever it is you've got to you've got to have some sort of target there of course and some you know some people say you're not meant to set targets but you're like a ship without a rudder right and having and creating a compelling future also allows you to um, continue with your learning cycle that is so many people because it, you've got to treat this as a 90 to 180 day internship but a couple of months in traders will say oh look you know it's getting a bit long I, I just haven't picked it up yet traders it's not rocket science it's about pattern recognition and if you've got a compelling future that drives you so we start off with $100 a day as a target per contract once you get off for micros you then increase it maybe to 300 a day depending on the market you're trading and the time frame for an example on the RTY today I'm trading eight contracts as you'll see in a moment and my target was 150 a day and I hit about uh, 164 165 but generally I'm after on five contracts on the NQ I'm after a thousand a day during the Globex session and if you've watched my other videos you'll see usually I achieve that in well under an hour get in get out get paid but I also believe in what I call POQ the power of quitting if you're a young gun uh, certainly you may choose to keep trading as many hours a day as you like any more than about four hours and you start to suffer from what we call decision fatigue okay it's like a bucket of water every every time you take a, a cup of water out okay you're going to run out of water that's like making decisions we start to make mistakes but also trading is about lifestyle now I'm nearly 65 um, I'm a young nearly 65 however I want to have a great lifestyle and I don't want to be trading all day and that's where my style comes into where it's scalping it's a cross between scalping and day trading so if you're a trader already or an aspiring one or a struggling trader I want you to remember POQ the power of quitting and in time you might choose to then slowly increase your daily targets but I promise you it makes trading a lot easier so what we're going to be looking at today is the three trades here I took and I've recorded and I'll give you a running commentary so what I'll sometimes do is be trading oh, I'll jump on I'll record this and sometimes I don't even plug in the mic and I'll just record it then as I'm doing it I might go like this and so the key points if I do show anyone or or what I'll do is usually show members or train my members and by the way I do run a live trading room as well as well as the coaching session so for general members you'll you'll recognize all of these are just our stock standard setups so it's a nice little session there uh, in 15 minutes in and out within 15 minutes now I want to quickly very quickly talk about your trading plan and how you actually get these sort of results because in the description link below you can actually download the little spreadsheet and I've got a little training video that you can download and watch on how to set your targets and how to start to set up your trading plan as far as where we, you'd like to go now so many traders uh, and, and people in general in life just don't have goals or targets and you know as, as I sometimes say a poor man or woman is not a man or woman without a scent but a man or woman without a dream by having a cre and creating a realistic compelling future that's what this is all about so let's just say here and let me stand for a moment so I've got a standing desk so I'll stand at my desk here for a moment so let's just say here you've got 3,000 10,000 100,000 start on the micros and build from there I make all the mistakes you're going to make on a micro that is after the simulator then you go and I cover this in my training then you start trading the micro do you think you're going to go and work for a hedge fund and they all of a sudden give you a hundred thousand a million dollars to trade with of course not you've got to do your internship every master was once a student 
we're not talking about years here we're only talking about months if that you can do this but you've got to do it correctly so start off with 300 on a micro in this case on the RTY and each tick will step as you'll see in a moment is worth 50 cents and we're after 30 steps a day or 30 ticks a day which is $15 now what that means is within 12 weeks I now have nearly three and a half thousand dollars in my account I can now start trading the big contract I've used the markets money you might halfway through this uh, you've got it down pat you're doing really well then roll some more of your own capital in but here you're using the markets money and how it works here is we're never risking more than two percent and as soon as we double our money that is we go to 600 we start trading another contract we get 900 in our account we now start trading three it's a progressive realistic plan so then within 12 weeks we can now roll over and start trading the big contract now on the RTY we're going for 150 a day now can you make four or five hundred dollars a day on it yes you can particularly for trading during the New York hours however to stay within your money management rules you've got to have a much larger account now if you're currently working you can get home at 6 p.m. at night and you can start day trading with a smaller account so if you're going to trade a higher time frame you'll need a larger account but likewise you can go for a larger figure now I know that this is a very realistic figure for a trader using my strategies I could go and put in there 400 a day and whatever but it's just not realistic for a newer trader now what 150 a day is that is 30 ticks okay or 30 steps as I'm about to show you in a moment and then a further 11 weeks or by the time or when you go live with 3,000 you've now got an income of over potentially I've got to say that legally over 500,000 and 500,000 five and a half thousand a week let me get that right and you've got an account size there of uh, twenty seven thousand dollars now this is a realistic plan now once again this spreadsheet you can download below along with a little uh, training video here's the bottom line if you start on the micro that is once you start trading on a micro allowed to trade on the simulator until you've got the setups right and let me just keep an eye on this uh, okay um, here within 12 weeks our account size is now three and a half thousand we can roll over time taken 23 weeks once you go live for a potential income of five thousand dollars plus per week this is the true potential of this business if you treat it as a business okay that is proper manage management uh, discipline uh, focus and patience now how do we get to the target of 150 so yep it's great five grand a week sounds fantastic how do we actually do it as you're about to see on the chart that I'm trading I call them steps and you'll see this in a moment so if you're scalping like I do I love to scalp get in get out get paid but I'll show you a little technique and a little tool whereby you can trail which works can work very effectively I don't trail right I've got a target I will increase it when I'm buying or selling into a major area of support or resistance uh, however uh, I, I want to get in and get out that suits my personality now down here if we have five trades a day by seven steps okay or three and a half by ten steps trades a day we're going to hit our 150 a day now they're always going to vary because sometimes we'll go for a slightly larger target other times we'll take profits but the bottom line is on average you're going to be taking after any losses four to five net trades a day now that sorry now that might mean traders that you're going to execute eight trades a day okay uh, but let me tell you the market moves that quickly now uh, there's that many opportunities on the other hand you get your accuracy rate up to 80 90 percent 
uh, of course you're in and out as you're about to see uh, very very quickly sometimes my videos you'll see I've taken eight trades to hit my target other times like today three out of three now before we go to the charts here are the critical things that we need to consider now with all of these these all plot on your charts automatically now you might have a trading platform where I don't have indicators for for an example trading view I don't have set indicators but I give you all of my settings so you can soon set them up uh, and so pivots every trading platform now has pivots open high low and close from prior days all of these are indicators here that are readily available free you don't have to buy them they're free okay but the reason these are important as you're about to see these will act as support resistance levels like see that there 200 EMA I want to show you something here look at this just now see that there traders here I'm bouncing off a 200 here I'm bouncing off a 200 EMA here I am and here I'm bouncing off a 200 on my anchor chart you'll find that these act as major support resistance levels all day every single day you'll be amazed you just how you you just come to believe in these EMAs so let's go to the chart so what I'm going to do I'm going to play this video back and I'll try to keep and of course I can't see what you can see you can probably see this ribbon down the bottom here so uh, I haven't started I'll start it here in a moment and I'll explain exactly what I'm looking for and what I'm doing now first of all what I've got here on the right is what I call my anchor chart one and this is an entry chart as you're about to see here I, I got this wrong and I tried to get in here too late and I missed the trade that would have been just a beauty now why do I want to take this at a high high on price and I had a lower high on my MACD and over on my anchor chart one and I've got a special method it's called a platinum zero lag so it moves very very quickly if you now I've got it coded for TradeStation and Ninja Trader. If you've got another platform, I give you the settings whereby you can customize any MACD to basically do the same thing. But what I want you to see here, higher high in price, lower high, and look at that there, we're dropping like a rock. So let's start with here. And I went to sell here. I was would have been in very late. Now just below there see these dotted lines this one just here and this one here they are pivot levels now this is trade one so trade one uh, this is actually what I call a 2b or a 2bd and I now normally speaking here we've got a 12 tick stop in fact this one here is a 13 tick stop but if you're working on a three thousand dollar account you can only uh, well you limit your stop to uh, uh, to 12 ticks which you could have easily done done here so here I was also in late if I got in on time I wouldn't have had the issue now look up the top there you can see where I'm looking at exiting which is up there at around the uh, the last swing high and so you'll see me do that a lot where I'll target swing highs sometimes I'll go for a larger target now what I'm doing just there is this look what I'm pointing out so eventually I'm looking at going up there and tagging that high now just then if you're watching the screen there you would have seen I went to break even however I pulled my stop lot and what I'm just looking at there is my anchor chart checking out the anchor chart a higher time frame so I pulled my stop loss back down because I've got a fairly tight stop loss and and that is uh, sorry go to break even I should say sometimes it's too tight so if I've got a great target I'll go to stop I'll go uh, my stop loss will go to my entry price but I'll then sometimes pull it down as you'll see there now just here where we are price wise now we had another re-entry so you could have answered just here uh, as well 
so here our target is up here we could see we've got a pivot well and truly up above now this will go for another six minutes stay with me because there's some really important stuff here so here we're up by 210 I'm long eight contracts and that was over there you can see that great 2da I missed okay I was really peeved about that uh, and that's where you've just got to be when you're trading particularly shorter time frames you just got to be focused so I'm just pointing out that swing just there and what am I am I turning the swing indicator on probably am so I've got a little swing indicator I've got a couple of different versions and this one might even be um, just about openly available ninja trader but I've got a few different types because quite often we'll rally up and we will bounce at these swing highs and swing lows and this was on that little uh, PowerPoint I just showed you so let me just quickly show you that there okay where are your intraday swing highs and lows because we go up there and we tag them now remember oh what I haven't pointed out is let me pause this just here for a moment I mentioned we're after 30 ticks to net 150 a day if you're only if you only want to net uh, and 30 ticks by the way on a 3,000 account that's a 5% return you might only you might be quite happy just a hundred a day per contract and so that's only 20 ticks so I call these steps here so these are actually called oh, well these are Renko candles each one is three ticks in total height but each step is worth one tick so to net 150 a day on this time frame you only need three basically net 11 tick trades a day so right yes it is <laughs> or as I mentioned four to five scalps and the reason I call them scalps like I can't remember what I do here sometimes we'll come up to this sort of level I might only be up maybe seven ticks and I want a front run that is I decide to get out take my profits sometimes we'll fly through and other times we'll bounce but let's just see where we go from here so I'm after 30 of these steps a day okay so now and finally we get filled so we've now hit that now I want you to look over on the right see this here is another support resistance level up here they plot automatically no guessing what we've got to do and just note here we've shot past this slightly this intraday swing all right, so I've now gone short here now uh, why have I shorted here I've got a beautiful little double top just there for members watching you end up getting a t10 as you can see okay I ended up uh, so I'm just thinking mm, do I I've now gone to break even and look down below just there see the thin black line and that dotted line there this is a pivot so what we've got to watch is and I'll quite often take profits when I'm selling now this is actually a counter trend move so as I hit a pivot you will quite often see me go to break even or take profits when I hit the pivot so I'm thinking what do I do here mm, I'm just thinking uh, looking at this here look I think I'll go to break even I think that's what I'll do or even lock in profit now look at that there see how now I've hit the pivot so will I get through here I'm going to go to break even at the pivot and I probably get stopped and we'll see in a moment now stopped out taking a profit oh there I get filled and I get my full target but the reason you will look at that that's the very reason why you'll see me take profits quite often at pivots because there we've got what we call a pivot bounce 3b I call that a 3b for a number of reasons now very high probability setup for members watching this and this is a tip I'll give everyone here and give you a real freebie here see on the right there how we've got on one of my anchor charts here and I run with two different time frame anchor charts very easy to read after a period of time but see how you've got all red candles or all green normally speaking depending on your level of experience 
if you want what I call insurance you'd wait for your anchor chart one candle to close green okay so you wait for the green and here I'm just looking at uh, so you want to wait that to close green now I got in before that because I also had a pivot bounce which is really improves your probability now just here I look at that great divergence we had and I'm just checking you'll see me uh, do this regularly where I pull my charts down to check out what's in front of us because if you've got a say if you went long here or say long up here you might have a pivot or a major area of support or resistance just above you want to know if you're buying into that because there's a very good chance like here look at this bounce off that swing high all right you went through it by four ticks but then you got this massive uh, pullback this happens every day so that's why I like to get in get out so anyway we'll continue here see where this goes okay so we are long you can see there my targets up there just below the swing uh, that swing high my stop is uh, one tick below the swing here I'm sort of thinking thinking and let's see the thing with trading you don't have to be perfect you just have to be consistent with your setups so you know sometimes I'll be trading like this what do I do do I want to lock this in I don't want to go and give back 200 bucks on that okay so here on the other hand I know I've got pivots remember how I scrolled down and I'm just checking again what it looks like on my higher time frame yep I'm thinking I've made the right decision my higher time frames still trending up in an uptrend see what you can see on the right there with the anchor chart one uh, you just don't have enough information there okay you've got to be and and I actually have full screens above I've got six screens it makes it a lot easier okay so now we've hit our target now let's just stay with this for a minute because there's some valuable information still I want to share with you here so we we're up by what was it 1300 odd dollars on this we've hit our target now look on the right there see that just there on the anchor chart well here we can see here let me just um so normally so 1345 12 tick stop we had uh pity I missed that one but two two would have been beautiful reversal setups just can't go wrong with those and two beautiful trend following setups now I want to show you something on the right which will appear in a minute or on the screen I should say uh, now just there here it is just here this is point one look what's set up again straight after okay bang we come back and that is what we call a whoops where's the camera there it is a 2b a perfect 2b just there now look what we went up and hit we hit yesterday's close the open we hit our perfect areas just here and this is going to be what we call I think it's a 2d this one without looking at the screen going back there so there you had a short so you had a beautiful one now with that if you look at this here how many steps is there what's that 15 you're off that's 15 ticks here traders you're after 30 a day net greed kills traders okay power of quitting now just got a couple of minutes or 19 seconds to go I'm just pointing out those uh, trades and look at this beautiful uh, pullback here so that would have been a, what I call a pivot bounce and probably a 2d and yes it's a pivot bounce and it would have been a 2d uh, now a 2d is two divergences a minimum of two divergences we had divergence there on the entry chart and we had uh, divergence uh, probably on the anchor chart one so what we're looking at here is the live three tick now this is 103 in the morning now where I'm normally trading this time frame here is unrealistic for trading today okay so this is where you'd be jumping up to a four tick or even a five tick oh and I've mentioned I was, sorry if you like to trail you've got this little indicator here you can trail you can also use if you've got ninja trader I've only got it here the bar status indicator um, here so traders 
you and you can actually turn that off okay so that's a hull moving average so you can switch that off you don't have to have that now see that just there here is your typical divergence trade higher high on price lower high and we call this angulation okay so angulation is where you see price action moving strongly away and when you get a pivot bounce and yesterday's close I know it's not technically a floor pivot but they act like pivots okay um, great area uh, to look for a divergence trade in fact your best divergence trades will come off pivots and look at this one down here beautiful little double bottom there and maybe hard for you to tell there but divergence once again so traders I've covered a, a lot with you uh, in this session 35 minutes um, become a member you'll get to learn these setups uh, you can trade these on any market uh, basically any time frame it wouldn't matter if you were trading a one tick chart the bounces and the setups are the same the markets are what we call fractal in nature you get fractals within fact fractals or patterns within patterns you also get the chance with the 197 of attending eight of my two-hour coaching sessions and if you can't attend those is it literally is hundreds of videos and resources so traders you can join using link below uh, make sure you get my Excel spreadsheet uh, and traders I love day trading see you on my next video cheers